can do it too well. Yeah. You can do a back into it. Okay. Let me run down. So I believe this is in the beginning of a new vlog, and of course I don't have my camera. Um of course I don't. But when I get home, I will, which I'm headed there now. I stopped at Starbucks to get something to eat. I have an internet bread. Bomb. Uh, today my choice of a drink was a venti iced chai with oat milk and three pumps sugar free vanilla. Mmm. So good. So we in the house. I think a little clothing haul for you guys. It's like, ooh, I'm going to wait you guys right now. Um, yeah. All right, guys, hopefully you can see me pretty well. Let me do it. Okay. Well, I'll come down here because I don't know what you can see. But right now, I just got home. And it's messy. I left it messy. So I'm going to fix that right now. I'm going to do the dishwasher. Because I don't feel like doing dishes. Um, yum, 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 yum. Clean up my living room. And yes. So then I'm going to do the haul for you. Actually, no. Sorry. The way my mind works is to start the dishwasher and then like start laundry. And then sit down. That way this stuff is already going. That's just how my mind works. But yeah, I don't think I ever came back and talked about graduation. I graduated! Mark the end of your undergraduate apprenticeship at the University of Arizona. Please move your tassel from the right side to the left side of your mortarboards. If you start Conversation? Continue the congregation. The congregation. Wow. <laughs> Did you see my TikTok dance? Okay, it was like. I just got back on TikTok, so I'm gonna be with it again. Wait. That was it. Okay. Anyway, back to my booty. Woo -hoo. So yes, I'm officially almost done. I have like three more classes. That's okay. Um, but I did walk, which I'm so honored to have had the chance to walk. I think in a previous vlog, I talked about that. And I'm pretty sure I said I wasn't going to because I just didn't really feel like I wanted to. But suddenly I had a change of heart like the week before graduation. And... Yeah, I walked. I'm so glad I did. It was such a great experience. Um, friends came, family watched virtually. It was awesome. So I'm super glad and super thankful that I had the chance to do that. I got dressed up, looked cute. Probably post some pictures right here. And if I have some videos right here, we went out to have a few drinks after. And then Boo took me out the next day, went shopping, and spoiled the crap out of me. Oh, I'm like falling on my knees. But anywho, yeah, so I, my balloons are still like floating around here my mom got these for me and my brother and then cards are everywhere so flowers i got a bunch of flowers from friends and family they're dying now unfortunately um they're so so pretty i'm trying to get them some more sun sunflowers these are pink roses but these bad boys are dying on me um it's like so dark in here and i just <laughs> i think i was in there no i wasn't and i just don't understand all this light and it won't be dark. Salty for what? But yeah, so I'm gonna do that and I'm not gonna run the thingy because I got a new tripod, but I haven't opened it yet. So I'm just not gonna do that right now. I'm so sorry, too lazy. I'll put the tripod up when I do the little haul. y'all look i have truly moved the tripod up and down so many times <laughs> so i think this is a perfect angle actually i'm too paranoid so i don't want to film this and then it not be so let me go back and look okay i think this is perfect so i think we're nice and cozy 
So let me. I'm going to get a coaster. Let me just talk about this tripod. This is cute. She's cute. It's like a bronze. If I can like insert a clip or something, I'll show you guys. It's cute. It's an Amazon basic. Super cute. Super affordable. Came in this cute little bag. Beautiful. I've been without a tripod for about a year now because I wasn't really recording. So I didn't buy one. And then I wanted to record. I was like, can't even have a tripod. So I just went ahead and got one. So love that for me. And so let's just start off with the bag. Truly, I went to, I love Zoffel. I My first product from them was back in like 2015, 2016. It was a bathing suit, super cute. But I was, I've never worn a bikini, so I wanted to get a little bikini and I didn't mean to buy this one. She's cute, super cute color, but my titty said no. They said no, they said no. So returning that i've already started the process of the returning of my money back but i really do love zoffel so i'm probably gonna order from them again but just not any swimwear because i'm too thick in the waist and in the chest for that and i got the biggest size too so i was really i was bummed honestly and then this one i i was all exposed it looked bigger online um, this is super cute. Love the color. So honestly, I was feeling so defeated because it was just it just wasn't working out for me. And then I got three more things from Zoffel. So this one I'm not keeping either. What is this? Oh, it was a cute little dress. First of all, I didn't know it was pearls. I'm not a fan of that. Um, no, it just it's cute, but I'm not a huge fan of this part on this dress. But, nope, that definitely did not work out for me. Two shirts. This first shirt, I am, two shirts I'm going to keep. But this first shirt, I have not quite figured out how to put it on. <laughs> there are so many strings, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's like this. Hold on. Right? And then you have to tie it in the back. So many strings. And then I don't know if it's too big or too small yet, so I may end up returning this one. But it is on my list to keep. So that goes right there. And this one I love. It's like the scarf or like the scarf shirts. I think that's what they're called. The brown one. And it's a, I love that it's like a halter top as well. It ties up in the back. Super cute. Love. I've been in love with the chocolate on chocolate. Baby. So that was the bag. Right. And now let's move on to some cosmetics. Okay. So this first one's already out of the box. If you don't haven't been to the cosmetic store, I don't know where they're located in every state, but if you haven't been, you need to go. Although the downside to the cosmetic store is that you, there are no returns, but everything is pretty much always half price. So first of all, I did not see how my Taylor came out with, I feel like I'm not recording. <laughs> I have to check. Yeah, I just get paranoid. Oh my God. But um, I don't know, she came out with a line with MAC. So this first one is called Shimmer and Spice. Let me get up close here. So it really is just like a shimmer. There's really not, I don't want to swatch this, I'm going to show you guys some clothes and I don't have any form of tissue on me. But it's really just a shimmer, but if you pack enough on, you know, it doesn't look packed on, um, but if you put enough on, it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, so cute. Shimmer and Spice. And then from the cosmetic store, I want to feel like bronzy, cute, you know, tan a little bit. Um, but I want the shimmer, you know what I'm saying, that glow. So I got this. I'm not a huge fan. It looks like a perfume as well. I'm not a huge fan of the scent, but it don't stink. It don't stink. But it's the Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. Pretty sure this is usually probably about $60. I think I, I paid $22. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm gonna have to, let's see. I truly don't know how I feel about this. Can't take it back, but it was $6 because it was on sale. It's the Becca and Chloe um, Sweethearts. So like they're glow letters, like a highlight, I guess. I truly don't know how I feel about it. I was using it as a highlighter, you know what I mean? Like on my face. But that's what it looks like inside. Go 
hopefully you guys can see that. And it's called Sweethearts by Becca. I don't know. I truly don't know. I don't feel like I'm at a loss because I know some of it's going to come out if I use it as a highlighter on my face. But I'm just not super sure about it. And then, let's see. This was a free sample I got. Yeah. But another Tiana Taylor. I stocked up because, again, everything was on sale. This one is called... I got a man. Okay? Period. But this is what it looks like. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, my goodness gracious. It's gorgeous. Love the container. Love the packaging. And then... I got, oh, this is the same one. This lip gloss is not a lipstick. It's called Say, oh, Save Your Tears, Honey. H U N N Y. And love this. I love me some purple. Mmm. Ooh, love me some purple. And it's just a pretty gloss. I haven't worn this one yet. I haven't worn I Got a Man either. So I have to keep you guys posted. Follow me on Instagram so you can see that. I'll have that information down below as usual. And then I think that's everything I got from the container store. So for uh, I got um, Rihanna's Fenty the Invisimat blotting powder, which I've been wanting to get for a while because I feel like it helps <clears throat> to not if I got like a regular compact, is that was called. I've never I've owned one compact because I just don't like the idea of packing more uh, makeup and color on my face on top of my makeup and I truly do like it instead of putting more makeup on top of makeup I'm not a big fan of that um, and then I have used this before it's the nutmeg um, instant retouch setting powder by Rihanna I've used this one before I'll show you guys in case you've never seen it I hope this lighting is okay but the first time I got it, I got the smaller version because I wasn't too sure about it. I got the minis. So I do suggest that if you're not sure. Um, but I got the bigger one. Ooh, it's just so pretty. Um, yes. Love that. Is it? I think it's closed. But and mine is a nutmeg. I don't know if I said that or not yet. But yeah, it's a loose powder. FYI. Honestly, I don't know if she has... I know she has... I'm pretty sure she has pressed, um, ooh, comes with another thing. I don't know. I haven't used it yet, so I haven't quite figured it out. But I'm pretty sure she, I know she has a foundation, like a pressed foundation, or, yeah, that's what it's called. Um, but I don't know if she has, like, a, um, a compact for your powder. The things I don't want to use. So, if that makes any type of sense, I don't know the words today. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't get anything from Fenty, but I got this Dior lip gloss that I love. And that mine's in raspberry, in case you were wondering. And then from MAC, I went ahead and got restocked up on, I hit, I hit pan on my, uh, my blush. I've never hit pan. But my color is in Raisin by MAC. I've been using this for years. If you've been following me, you've watched my makeup tutorials. How embarrassing. <laughs> But if you watch them, you know, I've been using this for a while. I was using Fever back in the day for a while, but that just, no, it's too red for me. This is more of a natural look that I prefer. Everyday blush. So I went ahead and typed up on that. I would love to find a cheaper version, um, but I just haven't. I just haven't. Um, and then last makeup product is I usually use the e.l.f. Um, wax but I didn't see it so I'm not sure if they don't make it anymore for my eyebrows but I went ahead and got this instant lift brow pencil it comes with I guess let's open it up together because I've never used it but I think it was like three dollars if I'm not mistaken three or five you know my elf isn't really that expensive okay can we This is a spoolie, and then I got it in deep brown. Okay, it's just like a, I don't know how I feel about it. I haven't tried it yet, so I'm not sure if I'm going to enjoy doing my brows as much, truthfully, because I feel like this could be a little bit too dark, 
a little bit too precise if that makes any sense to you it just i like using my brush i don't know we'll have to see about that love me a return because i will return it if i feel like need to but then i went to lush i'm never going to lush ever um but i was feeling fancy so i got um what was this called oh no they have they have it on the receipt They do. Okay, so this is the um, peach massage bar. I guess is what it's called, and it's like supposed. To... This is the peach bath bomb. Look how cute she is. I'm so excited to use it. She smells amazing. Ooh, sparkle, sparkles everywhere. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's another little lush situation. And then I didn't realize I did so much shopping. Actually, I did. I just didn't want to admit to it. Um, got this purse. It's a jelly purse. I mean, cute, unique, fun. Why not? It's summertime. Comes with a little chain as well. We'll see how I put this together because yellow is not my color. But I feel like you could wear it with like white, even like a simple black top, you know. So we'll see. I'm not a fashionista, but we're trying. Trying to change up my style a little bit. And I got this cute little purse from a woven looking purse from Target on sale. And I wanted another tan purse because all of mine are pretty much just black or pink. So, we're mostly just black to be honest. But, yeah. H&M, I got these cute little hoochie earrings. We love that. Hoops, I needed some more gold hoops. H&M as well. i not a big heel girl. Not going to lie to you. I want to be, but I just haven't reached that level of expertise yet. Um, so, I got these little tiny heels with these um, cute. They're similar to the purse like a woven um design here at the top i think these are in i think these are new hip situation moment that people are doing and then oh that's for yeah money i'll some money over there and then um take hmm that's a return i gotta do let you know did me right today Honestly, I'm not. A, are these the light ones? No. Okay, these are like the more of a darker but also lighter wash jeans. Just some denim jeans we got here. Cute. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. And they're skinny, which I don't mind them because they're not like super super skinny. You know what I mean? And then a cute white top. I was able to try everything on, which I'm so happy about. And these video rooms are opening back up slowly so I didn't have to like bring it home and then take it back. You know what I mean? So, yes. Cute white top. Love that. And then this is, oh, like I said, chocolate brown. This was so cute to me. It's just a chocolate brown um, three-fourth quarter um, sleeve top. Very pretty loose fitting, but not like too loose fitting, you know what I mean? And then i'm not a huge fan of light wash denim i'm not like i like me some dark wash um but i went ahead and got me some light ones because like i said i'm trying to change up my style just become more adventurous and truly i'm just it's like coming into my sexy you know i just want to change up a little bit and not be stuck with wearing all loose fitting clothes i love loose fitting clothes but i just want to look more cute and more girly these days to be honest with you and then, of course, I had to get me some... Not that I had to, anything to do with these jeans. The point of me saying that was I'm just trying to try new things. So, me stepping out and getting these light wash denim, that's big for me. Because I've never owned a pair of light wash denim. That's just... I just don't like it. But they are actually pretty cute. So, yeah. But then I went ahead and also got some black ones. Everything fits so good, you guys. But I feel like these are so, like, brand new, like, straight out. They just put these on the rack this morning because they're so, like, straight and crunchy. You know what I mean? So, yeah. And then I got some shorts. Girl, these shorts fit so good. Let me tell you. in my booty and my hips and everything. Cute. I got these in a 12. Because um, you got to make room for the booty. That's just what you got to do. So, but yeah, these are so cute. I love them. And 
then I got, I need to try these on. I didn't try these on, okay? Because, so I have to let you guys know how these fit. Because I went and left the dressing room, tried all these on. Everything you just saw, I tried on, plus some more that I decided not to get. And then I went back so I needed a different size because I got an extra large. And these tops right here is just these two, or just this one, but I got two sizes. Um, and the extra large was just too big. So I got a large and a medium. I was going to try them on. That line was just way too long. So <laughs> I'm going to try these on here at home. And if they fit, they fit. If they don't, I'll just take them back. Hey, guys. So I wanted to come in here and show you really quick. I'm on my phone because I am editing a video. <laughs> Finally! And when I was editing it, I said today's April 29th, I think. And I was like, dang. It's literally almost a month ago. But footage, I have it. So I'm going to, that's uploading taking quite a long time um, um but this is the medium i thought i would need the large at least because the first one i told you guys i got that was too big that i was able to try on there was an extra large way too big for me um so the large is actually still fairly big as well um i don't have a bra on right now but i mean this is still super cute with it like if i decide to wear a bra i can just make it the strapless one but i think she's cute yeah, and the medium it is. We love that. Yes. Okay. So I already own these. These are mine. These are super cute, huh? I think your foot just goes in like that. I got these from Nordstrom Rack a while ago. But, okay, we got Target. So like I said, I was feeling so defeated with my Zoffel haul. Oh, I just, it was not a good moment for me. I just felt really defeated, you know? And so I was like, you know what? Pick yourself up. We're going to go to Target. We're going to go shopping. We're going to do that today because we can. So that's what I did. First one I found, baby. Tried it on because I love me some pink. And I got this one. Girl, when I tell you she fits and it's a bikini. No, like I said, I've never worn a bikini, so I'm super excited to try it on. Send a picture to my mom. She's like, that's cute. I said, I know. So, yeah. I'm so excited to have it on. And then, Forever 21, that's not the editing of Forever 21. I just returned. And I said, I'm there. And then I went to Nordstrom Rack, and they gave me this cute... I'm not sure this is something new they're doing. I feel like... I'm okay, I'm not sure this is something new that they're doing. But I got some $10 sunglasses, and they gave me a sunglass case, so, yeah. But I got some, some Jessica Simpson's um, fun, pinky, grayish sunglasses. I've been on a sunglass kick recently, to be honest, if you haven't noticed in the other vlogs. Okay, so I feel like these look like nurse's shoes, <laughs> but if I dress them up, we may be able to, to work with it. Um, but I got these. These, it's a brand I've never heard of. Pony? I've never heard of them. Super cute. Love that. And then I got these. I was going to get some, excuse me, some pink ones. But no, I didn't. I decided not to. And they were pony as well, but I didn't get them. This one is by the brand Streak? No. Wanted. But these are cute, huh? They have all the different colors, and they are solid black. Well, not solid, but for the most part, they're black with different colors. So that's why I didn't get the pink ones, because I had these. And um, then I got, I need to try this on. I didn't want to try this on, because I was ready to go, okay? But it's a sports bra, like this, and it crosses over in the back. I thought that was super cute. And then I got this um, cloudish sky-looking shirt and it kind of ripples at the bottom just a simple tank top nothing too too special and then i love this shirt i got a black one just like it it's a hot pink um ribbed i guess you would call it shirt and it ties up right here on the side on both sides and i got a black one just like it and then this is also super cute it's a wrap um it's a baby pink a wrap in the front shirt. I thought that was super adorable. And like I said, I was able to try all this on, so everything fits. Love that. And then this, so it's like a 
it's like a onesie, but except you don't have to button it at the bottom, which I actually I like because if I need to pee or something, I can just take it off real quick instead of having to do that and then you know just do the most. Um, so I got this hot for yeah, it's like a hot orange kind of thing, bright orange. I don't know, onesie, and like I said, it doesn't button, so it's just like a little thong down there. But yes, and then I think I got a black one just like it as well. Yes, ma'am, I did. And then I got, I'm still not sure how I feel about this. I'm really not sure. I would need to like try it on like the shoes and everything. Um, but basically, you know, you see those shirts that they do like this type of thing. It's a little rectangle situation. So it was cute on. I just, I'm not sure. I shouldn't have bought it because my motto, which I've heard several people say, is if you don't love it in the store, you're not going to love it at home. But I, sometimes it's true, sometimes it's not. So I was like, maybe I'll love it more at home with my stuff. You know what I mean? So, and the last thing for this haul, gosh, that was a lot, um, was, this is cute. It's like a little night on the town, sexy um, top. It's another onesie that you do have to button. Um, but the top is with like a silky white. Can you see that? But the bottom is like a gold, which you probably won't be able to see but maybe you will, I don't know, but yes, and that is everything, I feel like that should be the end of this vlog, <laughs> but I don't know if it will be or not, so I'm going to have to try some of these things on, I'll let you guys know how it works, I'm kidding nothing with that, it's awful, but um, yeah, thanks for tuning in to my haul. So this is what I mean by I need to clean out my closet. I have a pile here of clothes that I like, I'm not sure if I want to keep it or not.